All right, everybody, so I'm in Washington now for the Evergreen Speedway race this weekend. So I'm gonna start this off with a little story. So I land in Seattle and the weather's perfect. It's like 75 degrees, no clouds, um, which is nice for Washington. So I had to rent a car this time because uh, my hotel was an hour away from the airport and I didn't want to Uber that far. And then uh, I arrived to the hotel that I'm staying at and it's a, uh, what's this place called? An extended stay America. So if you've been to one before, you're probably rolling your eyes right now. I've never been to one before and I didn't uh, read any reviews online or uh, try to find the cheapest hotel. I don't, this wasn't the cheapest hotel option, but it was the closest to the racetrack or one of the closest that um, came up on my search um, when I was trying to find a hotel. But when I got here, the lobby stinks. The lobby smells like cat piss and cigarettes. It's so disgusting. So, um, so when I, I checked in, I got my room key, came all the way up here. I'm starving at this point because I did not eat anything all day. So I just want to drop my bags off, run back downstairs and grab something to eat. My key doesn't work. So I had to go back down. He had to reprogram the key or give me another key. And then um, the key worked. So you put the key in the door, the thing turns green and then it opens back up. I went down the street and went to Red Robin and I got a burger which was incredible by the way. The black and blue burger, it was so delicious. So. After getting all bummed out at my uh, hotel situation, I had a good burger and made me feel good. So I get back to the hotel and my key doesn't work again. And I'm like, oh, dude, this is not happening right now. Stick the key back in there. The light's not turning green and it's just not working. I tried three or four times and then out of anger, I was like, you gotta be kidding me and I pulled down on the handle and pushed in and the door freaking opened. So I went back outside, the door, the door key did not work and then I just tried to barge in and I got in the room. So I am not leaving anything here while I'm at the racetrack because anyone could come in um, while I'm not here. While I'm here, I could uh, deadbolt the door and we're all good while we're sleeping but that's just ridiculous, what the heck. So the room doesn't smell, which is nice, but outside in the hallway and in the lobby, I have to hold my breath, it's literally disgusting. But um, in here we have two twin beds and they're not that comfy. There's a reclining chair. That's where Luis is gonna sleep, but honestly I wish I was sleeping in the chair because it's a lot more comfortable than the beds. So I booked the room this time. Um, I didn't read any reviews, and I'm just not going to make that mistake again. Jesse and Luis, they're going to be here in a little bit. And I'm really sorry, Jesse and Luis, that we have to stay here. But uh, <laughs> we're just going to have to tough this one out. So I'm watching Wheel of Fortune as one does in a hotel room. <laughs> I haven't seen this show in a long time, but so far I have solved the first two puzzles before the three contestants did. So. I'm feeling very smart right now. Just checking back in, I am on fire on solving these puzzles. <laughs> All right, check this out. I'm not gonna use my key on this door. It's locked. That easy. <laughs> All right, the boys are here. I don't know what Jesse's doing over I'm there. Arts and craft time, so I got this right here, Rabbit Coffee. Rabbit Coffee oh, yeah. is a sponsor for me for the next few races. They sell great coffee products, especially their cold brew. All you have to do is take the little shot glass, mix it in with ice water, and then you have iced coffee. It's called Cold Brew. It's by Rabbit Coffee. Go to rabbitcoffee.com. <laughs> nice. Well, you said you're doing arts and crafts yeah, i know so he got scissors from downstairs so what are you doing so the scissors had to cut up basically had to cut up these little velcro things so that i could get this patch on my suit it's a quick fix because i wasn't able to sew it on for the weekend <laughs> shorter delivery everything but i'm about to make it happen that's why i'm resourceful that's why i make things happen remember grab a coffee grab a coffee <laughs> to grab your coffee products you'll love it how often do you drink it, Jesse? Um, I drank it for the first time the other week when they first sponsored me. It was the first time I ever drank iced coffee. 
and you liked it. I loved every minute of it. All right. Yeah. And Luis is here. He's set. He's setting up shop down here on the floor. <laughs> he said he's trying to put Fish as much padding on the ground Fish as he can. Right here, you know what I'm saying? I don't have a sponsorship. I do it on my own, but uh, you know, but trying still, to still it. have sponsors coming soon. <laughs> sponsors coming soon. We're gonna sign Louie under Jesse Wooji uh, oh, Racing uh, Driver Development Program. Oh man, it's gonna be my, gonna be my first driver. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. I present to you driver of the number. You see this alarm? What's your number? What? I don't know. This alarm right here. You know what it told me? It told me 25, the next 25 minutes watch film on Evergreen and then 25 minutes after that do high racing laps. Tough you should have already done that bro. <laughs> So this is a Thursday when I'm normally home. So we're at the Microsoft store right now. And, uh, we're doing a little autograph session. And uh, we're going to be playing Forza Motorsport. What's the name? Forza Motorsport 6. Huh? And Rocket League. Pass it on down. So we're like signing oh, yeah. Microsoft hats. And uh, we're going to have some friendly competition with other customers. It's going to be fun. Goodbye, Microsoft store. You were fun. first practice uh, a little while ago. Second practice is about to start. Um, the car felt really good in the entry. Center, sometimes I push. I can kind of fix that by using more brake. Uh, but the exit is really squirrely, so um, we uh, got under the car and uh, made a few adjustments. And uh, so we're gonna take it out and give it another go in second session. Second practice is about to start. I've got some uh, LaCroix, is that how you say it? First time I had this stuff, I thought it tasted like toilet water. But uh, I'm really thirsty, so right now it tastes really good. Yeah, it's really fun uh, getting under the car and, and working on it yourself. I know some about the geometry and how it works and, and what it affects as far as uh, changes to the setups go. Um, I really appreciate being able to wrench on the car myself and then going out and noticing the difference in the car because um, as I learn more and get better at driving, I'll be better at communicating to my crew chief on the adjustments that I want because I know what works for me and what doesn't. Um, at least that's what I'm learning. So I'm gonna go out there, <coughs> Hopefully uh, notice uh, a, a big enough difference in the drive off the corner to where um, I'm a little bit closer to where I want it to be tomorrow. We're running today's practice on really old tires. There's uh, three rounds of practice. So I'm gonna run this next round on this old set and then uh, the, sec or the third session, I'll run another old set and then for tomorrow's practice, I'll have a new set. So that's when we can really dial in the, uh, the setup for qualifying. So it's been, it's been really fun so far. Uh, there's a really big bump off of turn four and uh, it feels a lot like the bump off of turn two at Colorado. And so far Colorado has been my favorite racetrack. So um, I'm looking forward to this race. It looks like it's gonna be a lot of fun out there. Uh, some people, are pulling out right now so I'm gonna go. Oh yeah, I put the GoPros in the car so I'll turn them on and we'll get some footage of what the track looks like this session.
backed it into the wall. So uh, I'm gonna definitely uh, put more front brake into it. There's uh, a lot of body damage, which is, it's so stupid, it sucks. Um, but I think we're still gonna be able to race. I think we're still gonna be able to fix it and get back out there for third practice. Um, so I'll show you the car. We only did this for film. Yeah. <laughs> for this YouTube channel. So this is what the car looks like right now. It looks a lot worse than it really is because we're trying to take all the pieces off and straighten them back up and then uh, basically like rivet and duct tape them back together. Got a little bit of the front end. So when your tires get all boogered up like that, that's when it's real slick. Hopefully uh, tomorrow during practice everything feels right and then because uh, I, I want to feel like the car is 100% before I race it. So um, it kind of sucks. I've been in this position before um, last year in my very first race. Yeah, we're just going to have to deal with it. I'm learning. <laughs> Alright, so it's race day. We stayed at the track pretty late last night. Riveting this body back together is still pretty messed up. If you're on iRacing, I got a 4X. <laughs> so, we jacked the car up. And so, here's the fuel cell. So all this is pushed over to the side, about three inches from this corner. And uh, the rear clip is bent a little bit, um, but the only thing, I don't think it's gonna change the handling of the car, because nothing else crucial on the frame was bent. We've got new rubber, so uh, we're gonna go out and uh, give it a go in first practice later. We gotta roll this thing through tech. But before I do that, I gotta weld on the bumper again that rests again against the, uh, the body right here, because that can't be flopping around. And then, uh, we got to use a bunch of bear bond on the bumper to uh, clean it up. It's got to be held together somehow, so we got to get to that and then get through tech. So I hit the wall because I was using old tires for practice, so that's the last time I'm going to do that. I did that in Iowa and spun out, but I was able to save it from the wall. So did it here, wasn't able to save it. Stupid mistake because it was my choice to go out and do a, another few laps on the old tires before I put on the new ones, and um, it's just a stupid mistake. So the last minute patches are going on the car. I'm gonna make it out for second practice. New tires doing the first laps of the day, and uh, second practice is gonna be a little short because someone had a bad crash on the racetrack and uh, they had to tow the car off and clean the track up. So that's eating into everybody else's practice time. But uh, I know when I qualify, I'll be in the back anyway. Because uh, <laughs> that's just what I need to do. I need to start the race and uh, feel it out. Because uh, I'm hardly going to have any time to practice and, and uh, get used to this car. So I, I mean, I'm, I'm used to the car. I just need to get used to the track. So uh, I'm just going to do the best I can today. And um, Hopefully I can keep it out of the wall. All right, the night's over. Um, so I had to pull off with like 25 laps to go because I had a right rear tire going down and I almost spun out. That was crazy. So it was, uh, had a restart when I found it. So I was lucky I caught it. Um, but uh, I elected to not change the tire and go back out because racing the last 15 laps, 15 laps down just makes no sense. Um, so yeah, it was a fun night, but that was that was a hard race. That was harder than that was harder than Iowa for for a few reasons. Um, obviously, because the the car was crashed, the handling was off a little bit, but I just couldn't drive the track. This track was was hard for me, coming from someone with no race experience. It was just really difficult. I mean, I'm not a racer. I am a fan. A NASCAR fan that gets to participate in NASCAR, which is so cool, but I am just 
along for the ride. Um, it's so much fun, but the only time I was able to race the car was at Colorado Speedway. That remains my favorite track. Um, that was a uh, one-third mile, and uh, that's where I got my best finish, and, and I just had the most fun racing there. Long green flag runs, uh, but tonight, tonight was just really, really hard. So uh, I think my next race is at Meridian Speedway where I uh, race in the late model series there. We got the last late model race coming up in a few weeks and then the k &N race is a couple weeks after that. So we got a uh, street stock race about to restart and they're racing on the uh, inside track so probably gonna get a little loud. But yeah, I had a right rear tire go down, just pulled into the pits, called it quits. But uh, it was a lot of fun, but it was just it was just really, really hard. I was really tired, went straight to the concession stand and just chugged a monster right away. I was so tired and so thirsty. Then I had to drink a water right after that because it kind of dried my mouth out a little bit. Here they go. 